What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to go over my five pick for the cheapest upgrades for your 7.3. So here we go. So number one is gonna be the Zoodad mod. Uh, if you don't know what the Zoodad mod, go check out my other video. I'll post the link below or up here maybe, or over here, somewhere. Um, basically what a Zoodad mod is, is I'll go over that in a second. All right, number two is the um, your oil crossover. It's about $50, maybe 60. Um, quiets down the motor a little bit. Um, allows oil to transfer easily from head to head. So, that one. Number three, get yourself an intake. Just a cheap little intake. Um, stay away from K&N. The reason you don't want a K&N is because they actually let too much air and some of the smaller particles just pass right through and end up in your motor and you know, it's not good. So, that was number three. Number four, a boost fuller. Or, um, I'll go over that in a second. So it's called a boost fuller. It allows your motor to spool up a little bit more boost before it dumps it out of your wastegate. Okay? Number five, the CCV mod. And I'll go over that here in a second. So here's an air filter, just a general air filter, 60 bucks, you pick it up at Napa, and it's a done deal. CCV mod. Okay, right here is your crankcase. Um, normally what you have is it goes up into your uh, intake pipe here, and then basically that oil that, that goes to the blow by gets pushed right into your um, turbo. So get rid of that, save some turbo life. Um, you can do it a lot of different ways. This is just the way I did it. And actually, I got a leak on it. So I actually got a leak down there. It's not the prettiest thing, but it gets the job done. Okay, so the CCV, C mod, CCV mod. Next, you got the oil crossover. So it's that right there. It goes from one head to the other. It sits right in front of your turbo. It goes from one head to the other. You got the boost fuller. So what this does is it connects right into your where your uh, map sensor is. And then connects over to where, I mean this is this is where it usually is installed. Okay, so the boost fuller, what does it do? The boost fuller, um, these trucks normally have a pop off and they allow, you know, the boost just sheds. So what this does is allows that boost to increase a little bit more before it, the wastegate pops open. It's pretty simple. I think this was like 30 bucks. And the Zoodad mod. So here's your grill. Come right in here. And that little pipe right there. You don't even have to use a pipe. This actually can be free. Just drill a hole right next to your radiator. And it connects into this pipe here. And then what this does is allow more air to get into your, under the hood. Now, if you're taking your truck off road and a lot of mud and stuff, this is something you may need to worry about. There you go guys, something short and sweet, five of the cheapest mods. I mean, there may be some cheaper ones out there, but these are some of the cheapest mods I've done. Pretty simple, easy to install. I mean, you could do all five of them in under an hour. And you could probably get all five, okay, let's go. Air intake, 60 bucks. The oil crossover, uh, I think it was like 50. But I'll post the links of everything I bought below. So the oil crossover, like 50 bucks, maybe 60. So there you got 120 in those two things. Uh, Zoodad mod free. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, the um, overboost, that was I think 30. And the oil crossover cost me like $5 and some fittings. So, you know, 
total what hundred and so about two two hundred dollars for those five. You're not gonna see a big increase over it. The oil crossover is probably well obviously in the air filter. Those are the two be best ones out of those five. Um, obviously the overboost if you you know are building your truck it's something you're definitely gonna need eventually. So depending on where you are with your truck, you know something to uh, look at. So guys if you like this video please Give me a thumbs up, subscribe below. We got more videos to come. And check out the rest of my videos, guys. And I appreciate all the support from you and all the comments that I've been getting. So keep it up. And thanks, guys, for watching. Until next time, see ya.